all right guys welcome back again to another exciting tutorial flash is here and i'm so glad right now what we want to do right now is i want to continue from where we stop we're going to install plugins and teams so what are plugins and what are teams all right i'm going to do something right now i'm going to log in into my computer right in the internet right now i'm going to say google.com all right i'm going to say google.com i'm going to say wordpress uh wordpress.org let's say wordpress we're going to go to wordpress.org so when we say wordpress.org we'll say wordpress.org uh, okay we'll say wordpress.org we'll you will see where you can see teams see plugins so we're going to download the team called um, ocean wp so okay so teams are uh, what gives you the look and feel of your website what really gives you that um, um look and feel of your website how do you want it to look like so that is team so one ocean ocean wp you can see this is the website this is the plug and team so you just, just hit on download so we're going to download some plugins so if you are using ocean wp oops sorry something happens to the internet connection i don't know let's check it out let's see connected what happened okay let's download again oops wow what exactly is going on anyways let's see if we can get another team let's use astra let's use astra let's download astra i don't know why these teams are not downloading okay all right, you can do it from there as well anyway so let's just um we we'll just normally take some couple of time you can see from all this place you can see pages comment appearance you can see from appearance you see teams just click on it so when you click on it it's going to take you to where you have so many teams so you, this is the active teams team 2023 so here i can add new teams i can add new teams when you click on add new teams it's going to take you to a dashboard where you can easily search or upload all right, let's search for Ocean WP. You can see it's there. You need to ensure that you're connected to the internet, so you can easily install it from there. So, in fact, this is the best way to do that. Anyway, so if you're con you have to ensure that you're connected to the internet this time around, so that um, it's going to download it from the internet straight down into your local computer. All right, good so um by the time this is done um you can now take a look at how to install our team so one thing is to install a team another thing is to activate it so when you install a team it's just going to be residing in your dashboard it's not going to be used used it's not going to be you, you will not be able to use it until you activate it so just note that so teams gives us the appearance how you want your website to look like why um plugin perform some certain functionalities so functionalities such as building a page functionalities such as building what is called widget functionalities such as um, you know contact from accepting details of record anything you want to 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 see on a website that has to do with the way it functions plugins does that all right so I, get, I have to activate this so if you activate this that means you are overriding the team 2023 team that was there before that makes it to look like this it's not going to change the look and look like a cool website but not completely a cool website because it's still going to look empty so by the time i reload you can see it has changed all right so um what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to because i've installed the new team and i've activated it so this is how um, an empty ocean wp normally looks like so ocean wp cannot survive on its own without the presence of a plugin called ocean extra so let's go and install ocean extra so i'm adding new 
all right you can say ocean extra you can see so ocean extra make ocean wp perform very well you can see ocean extra so okay so let's hold on so for a few seconds in fact the moment you install the ocean wp thank you for installing the wp team we highly recommend you to install and activate ocean extra plugin the plugin will unlock new power tools to help you build an amazing website get access to freemium website templates demos wordpress and stuff like that all right let's install and activate ocean extra even from me you can do that so we're installing it right now and want to see how exactly it's going to look like uh the moment you finish the installation okay okay let's hold on for some few seconds it's installing all right make sure that you're connected to the internet if you're trying to install from the dashboard all right that's been successfully installed you can never miss an important update okay you can see from a uh opting into the security and feature update notification we don't need that for now and let's just skip it all right so and um, ocean extra has been successfully installed so some other plugins that we we'll have to install is um, elementor which is a page builder so that uh, it helps us to be able to build all our pages okay so what we're going to do right now is that um, we're go going to appearance but before that there's one thing i want to show you the moment you go to dashboard you'll notice some things which i don't really like because all these wordpress whatever i don't like it so i normally click on it i don't like at glance activities quick start wordpress event all these things you have to remove it so by the time you remove it you have an empty environment where you can see whatever you log into the dashboard without seeing all this kind of information all right so i need a plugin so here i'll say add new plugin so like i said you know you've installed ocean extra which add values to ocean wp so another plugin i would like to um, show you is um elementor so what are the elementor what is the function elementor apps to build our page all our website there is the page builder so what is the page builder you understand is as a move on in this tutorial okay so right elementor elementor all right it's loading and um this is it you can install now so elementor normally comes with some add-ons so it helps with more functionality which we are going to install too it helps to you know give us more features about elementor so we're going to install them as well so i think i have like a few of them right in there I have um, essential add-ons which I'm going to install after this complete has been completely installed. So I'm going to pause the video right now and I'm going to install this, the second one, and this third one. All right, let's hold on a second. All right, so um, we have successfully um, installed some plugins that we could be needing. We installed um, Elementor. We installed. Um, essential add-ons for elementor we installed premium add-ons for elementor we installed um happy add-ons for elementor all right so you can decide to activate this so because it's very very important installing plugins is one thing activating it is another thing so you have to activate all of this and when you get that activated that means they are ready okay so i'm going to show you something right now after all of them have been successfully activated you can see it takes you to the next page so you can go back and um, do some some needful you can see this has been activated anyway so you can just activate okay so um let me show you something from this plugin you can easily activate it as well you can say plugin installed plugin from the install plugin you can activate all your it's going to take you to the dashboard where you see all the plugins the, some plugins comes with the wordpress so you need to deactivate this so you can see this is activated you will deactivate it if you want you can see okay i have activated it brother so so you can decide to deactivate it so let me reload it and you see that it has been activated already so these are to deactivate 
So you have to deactivate the plugin before you delete it. If you don't want to have um, complications on your dashboard, so you can delete this. We don't need it. All right. Okay. So what else do we have? Hello, activate. You need to delete it because we don't need it. All right. So another thing is that you can now activate all of this. So what I, normally what I normally do is that I will just um, activate. Click on activate and I'll highlight all of them. Okay, and um, you can see and I'll apply. So all of those plugins will be activated I mean, at once. So this is awesome. So we have successfully installed the plugins that we're going to be needing for our project. And also we have installed theme that we're going to be needing for our project. So in the next tutorial, we'll start creating our pages. And until then, I can't wait to have you in the next one. Bye.